guys hey guys new video here uh want to talk about just some quick harvest stuff some quick tips for new players and stuff it might be a little bit of a rant i didn't really prepare this video it's gonna be a one take because i asked a lot of questions about this uh, i'll post my harvest setup in the card below so you can see how i set up my garden i basically copied a um like a google uh, sheets uh, set up and it's really really nice because you have like your tier ones here you have your tier twos right here and then you have your tier threes or fours all the way up here and there's a lot of room for you to set up um, extra storage and stuff like that but i want to go through some things that maybe like uh, people might not know or might help you out so first things first uh, when you're setting up these things you know there's this auto plan here let's say i had an empty patch uh, one important thing to note is that the auto plant will choose from your inventory first okay a quick quick side note harvest is amazing i've like turned around my entire opinion of the league because like you can craft things like this like this like oh this is in progress of crafting i'm crafting that a little bit right now uh you can craft things like this um this is okay i scuffed this one i had tier one es uh, percentage but i, I try to get the recovery on suffix and i scuffed it so i'm gonna fix my chest and you can craft all kinds of crazy things for like uh unbelievably cheap okay and it's uh, very deterministic so it's awesome league so um for, okay sorry i uh, i went off track already so um you know how when you click on this button auto plant and it pulls all the seeds out of your inventory well um it'll actually try to pull from your your inventory first right it's gonna try to pull from your seed stash right um but let's say you want to um really focus down defense mod modifiers so you can type in defense and this is called primal row of seeds so for example if i had like um three patches is 24 times three right so 70 uh is that 70 uh two yeah so 72 seeds right so as long as i have 72 of these primal row of seeds when i click on this um this auto plant function it'll pull them from my um my inventory and plant those first before pulling from any of the ones in the sash this is very important if you're trying to target a very specific craft for me for example i have a tier 11 energy shield I'm so bad right so i'm really trying to target um remove defense add defense remove and add defense things like this right so if i plant 72 of them and later on i'll talk about flowers and how you place your flowers it's going to be very easy for me to get like every day get like what like 10 20 uh defense re-rolls things like that so um it's pretty cool okay another thing to know is that um with these connectors you still have a lot of these uh storage tanks okay storage tank expansion how do you do that for example when you copy a um a layout from google uh sheets or from like the reddit or something like that and you're setting it all up um you're gonna wonder hey i have a lot of room in my in my garden what do i do with all that extra room and as you see i just put storage tanks everywhere now the easiest way to do storage okay and then this is like kind of like simple but uh i, I guess it does need to be said um the easiest way to do storage is to um, expand by placing down three tanks and one pylon you always need three tanks and one pylon because tanks cannot connect to anything else for example you see this pylon right here like this pylon, i could connect elsewhere i could connect pylons to more tanks but i can there's no button on top of the tank to connect anywhere else okay so the, uh, I don't really have much room here, so it's kind of scuffed, but uh, maybe I can show you right here. So the easiest way is you're gonna take your tanks, right? And uh, you're gonna go one, two, three. It doesn't have to be in any shape, just anywhere close together within like four units of the pylon. And you're gonna take one pylon and go like this, right? And let me let me see if I can place it. Oh man, I can't even place a pylon here. I'm, I'm so full on all this stuff. Let me take out this um, the seed so I can place it. So I'm gonna put down the pylon here. So you see how this border right here, okay? You see how like the border of the tank is um, gray? That means it's not assigned to any color. So the way that you know that it's connected, so let's say you connect your pylon to these three. One important thing when you're expanding is you have to have this set. This is the most efficient way, three tanks to one pylon, and this pylon goes into any color you want it can go into a harvester and go into a um a pylon uh, but it doesn't have to go into a pylon right i see a lot of people trying to connect to a pylon it can connect into another tank so for example um uh for example like this one right here you see how they're not they're not really lit up so they're not assigned if i connect to this yellow right they become you see how they glow yellow so this is, shows that these are ready for storage as long as they're anywhere in the vein or the, the little artery or whatever you want to call it um they will work and they'll they'll shoot the juice into there when you need it now if i disconnect it as you can see they are unassigned if i connect it to blue right uh right here see okay now they're blue storage tanks so let me disconnect that if i and if i connect it to pink is there a pink here uh right here if i connect it to 
pink, you can see that they turn the outline of the thing turns pink to let you know it is good to go. It's good for storage. So you don't even need to remember where it is as long as it's uh, lit up. Okay. Um, but most importantly here, okay, uh, let's say I don't connect it here. Um, one thing that I, I think a lot of people should um, keep in mind here, let me actually like put um, the pylon over here so you guys can see it better and put the storage tank like over here, right? So let's say I have uh, this connected and this connected and this connected. Okay, so um, you don't need to connect the pylon. You can connect to any storage tanks because usually storage tanks of the color that you want to expand, they don't really have four connectors, right? There's almost very, very rarely they're going to have even more than one or two, um, or sorry, more than one connector on them. Which may, And since each um, infrastructure piece can have four uh, connectors, then what you should do is really you shouldn't even, you should save your pylon space because that pylon might need to go somewhere else and try to connect it to the storage tank again. You see this? You see how my storage tanks just lit up purple to show that it works so you can um, you can connect to storage tanks instead of pylons and of course collectors and things like that as long as they are lit up and somewhere in the chain you see they will work so if I go pop like my tier 3 seeds uh, even though if it's a tier 3 seeds are all the way across the map because my entire thing is linked up this will work okay so this is um, this is just kind of one thing to note that took me a while to figure out because I'm kind of dumb um, I thought that you had to have it connected to the pylon or like closer to the thing no as long as it's lit up and you know that at some point in your farm every pink yellow and blue is linked up somehow it will work that's one more thing there okay next let's talk about the shape of your um uh, of your plots so if you uh, look below on my um, my google sheets you're going to see that the plot is going to be a five by five grid and then there's these outliers that are red you see this right here like like this one right here this is like a tier two i think oh that's a yeah tier two um that's a tier uh that's a tier three that's a tier three that's a tier three i should actually have these as tier threes and the reason for that is, is in case i put like a tier four there so actually um for these let me let me like take these these off and then put a tier three here um right here and then a tier three right here. Okay, so the reason that this there's this five by five here, and with one going like it's like a windmill shape, right? Uh, like like boop, boop, boop. This red one, and then boop. This red one that are outside is because when I harvest, you see you see this harvester yellow box right here. Whenever I click the harvest button, it will never. Okay, it will it will never harvest these four corner ones that are one one unit outside the box and it's important because because these things need adjacencies um to kind of to kind of hatch uh this allows you uh, some people plant them in the corners right and this allows you to never harvest these and and so that way you can only plant the tier threes or fours that you want without ever having to be like oh now i gotta manually plant in the corners as well and it's like a lot less micromanagement right so they sit here they give adjacency for the entire farm with and, and they also save you four slots because if you put the tier threes in here um or sorry if you put some uh some like if you only put like the tier twos in here on these corners, you lose four seeds when you click on the harvesters because they will be tier two or whatever um, instead of the other one, right? So this this like kind of guarantees that you have adjacency while being able to maximize each um, proc. So a small thing there um, if you want to do that. Another thing you see me clicking on these um, these things you don't have to click uh, if you have it on auto. Um, as long as you have everything on auto, it will work automatically on the next time you hit the seed catchy. Okay, so when you're in a map, you hit a seed catchy, it'll spray the juice. The one time you might want to do this is like, let's say you set up a garden that is, um, it's not uh, like, like the flow of the pipes goes like, usually on most gardens, they're going to set it up so the flow goes from the tier twos into your tier threes and fives. But for whatever reason, if you like loop it around or you're like adding a bunch of stuff and you connect it the other direction and it like loops into your tier fours and sucking up the juice, what you could do sometimes is like you can um, you can manually click around here and when you click it, it will actually disperse and take um, juice out of your uh, out of your tanks and you'll see like the, the flowers plump up and stuff like that. There's a very, very small scenarios where like, a, you know, your tier threes, fours might be taking juice and you might really wanna fill up your tier twos before your tier threes, okay? But these are like very niche situations. Um, other things to note is that, um, if you pop your seeds, I would say tier ones, twos, and threes, if you are uh, a good enough character, 
always pop them in maps because if you pop it in maps they inherit the map mods um and like the div cards that are in that map so if you have like a hundred uh, something quantity map it'll apply those monsters it's not much because not many monsters but it does help um with more drops and then of course let's say you run you you pop your seeds and kill these monsters in the farm inside of a barrel chambers of shabby you can drop the doctor if you pop in your hideout they have zero extra quantity and rarity and they have no tag divination cards so you can't get any um cool divination cards cards um, from from a specific map that you're popping in okay um, another thing to note is that when you click on a seed catchy it spawns this area if you click on another seed catchy it will delete the area so be very careful because let's say like there's like small situations where there's a zaba map and so you go on a map you click on the seed catchy you go inside you pop some seeds and you like you somehow forget to store the juice or like there's one mob remaining running around you're like oh, i'll come back to it if you go into a zaba map and you touch the next seed catchy when you come back to this one everything will be gone um in terms of like you won't be able to like, condense you won't be able to like get your crafts if you didn't get them already so just keep that in mind like when you enter this the thing like get all your stuff completed before touching another seed catchy okay even if it's like a zaba map even if like for some reason you go to a laboratory or something like that um that's another thing to note okay um one more thing is um the hoardy crafty benches so these things i have like 150 of them Right, you're gonna end up with so much extra juice, and I recommend that when you have a lot of extra juice from your tier twos or threes, um, you store them in the horti horticulture, no, horticrafting stations. They basically allow you to store up to three crafts. Um, these are important. I, I have them linked up here, and what I do is like, if you didn't know, if you go into your, um, if you click on one of these, right, I put them in these tabs here. Uh, so like this, these are like three out of three. So these are all full. So. All of the ones I highlight have three out of three full crafting options in there that I've saved up. You can you can search in here. For example, you want remove lightning, right? You can find that. You want um, and if you want to be more specific, you can type in quotations, right? Remove a random lightning, right? And that'll give you remove a random lightning or like remove a random lightning, add a another lightning and stuff like that. And you can search for them uh, and trade them to other players. Uh, I have them set up here so that once they are full, you can um, what you can do is you can control click on them and then put them back into your um, inventory and then put them back in your stash tabs when you go back to town. So really, really nice there. Another thing is that anything plantable in the garden, so pylons, tanks, full storage tanks, hoardy stations, uh, flowers. These, these, these are the flowers that you see right here. I'll talk about those in a second. Can be placed on the ground without having to go back to your hideout, okay? So what I mean is like you can do this. You can click on a hoardy station, click on the stash, and let's say I want this hoardy station because I want um, remove a non-crit, add a crit, right? So I'll right-click on it and hold down my shift, exit out of here, and I can put it anywhere here. I can put it down right here, and look at that. I just planted it from my stash. And from this, if I click on it, it goes back in my inventory, and now I have this, right? You can't put it back into the stash from the, the thing. It's a one-way, okay? Same with flowers. For example, if I want, if I forgot my flowers, oops, I don't want to go back to town because I, I don't want to waste map portals. Click on this, Hordy 2, these are my flowers. Let's say I want the Life Bloom one. Once again, shift, right click on it, exit the stash, exit this. You can press space bar if you want, that's my hockey for it. And look, I can run around, as long as I hold down shift and I'm, I'm moving around and stuff, with I, I move around with W, look, I can move around anywhere, it's still on my mouse. And uh, let's say I wanna place it uh, right here, boom. Right, I can place it there, and if I need to pick it up, boom. There it is. You place it down, you pick it back up, and now you can put it anywhere it's in your it's in your inventory, right? You can do this with any kind of infrastructure in here. Um, hoardy benches, once again, pylons, storage tanks, and um, the flowers. Uh, another thing I'll talk about is how to use these flowers. So Fortune Blossom basically is like a... Um, it's like a super sanctified fossil, I guess, for the results. So, for example, um, we all know that, like, augment, let's say you're doing a crit uh, seed, a primal viper, um, and, and you know that the augment crit, augment remove, um, sorry, uh, remove augment and remove are the rarest ones, right? The most common ones, as we all know, is reforge. Everybody hates reforge, right? So, when you place this, it will give you the rarest of four chosen options, okay? So, it's basically like, it, like, rolls the dice four times, choose the rarest one with, like, the um with the, like the exalts and anoles being the um the most rare one so really really nice if you want to put these on your specialty um things like uh like the more expensive like two three and four seeds but also i use these for tier ones as well because there's so many charges and for tier ones if i'm focus farming a slam like for example uh slam anole i'm sorry uh like a defensive for my chest i want to remove tier 11 and i want to put on um tier one increase es right then i would put the the fortune flower near my um my primal roas 
okay uh, and then the horde of crafting blossom is basically generate additional crafting options so this is like really really op i actually think that this one is Mm, this one and the fortune one are both like equally op but in tandem they are insane because let's say like something that's really valuable like sells for a few exalts or whatever if you put this down uh they don't stack with the other versions by the way so you can only use one flower influence per uh seed that's in range of but you can like overlap a bunch of them to make sure it covers no big deal it won't overuse the charges um so what it does is uh, you can just get multiple so it's a chance to get multiple instead of one right so you can get two you can get uh two instead of one right it was super op and so you can pair that up with this and the life force is exactly what it is 100 percent more life force so that's really awesome because you're going to need that that juice when you're trying to put the th a lot of threes and fours around okay the way that these work is they are an 11 by 11 grid you can you see that like when i mouse over them do you see that giant white box look at that that's huge right is massive um and the best way to put this would be to put it like i guess like right here like where this um where this vivid whiplash bulb is but uh you can either remove this one and put it back later or um you can like uh, this might like actually might take some juice but um you can put it there but what i do is i just i just over layer it you see this like you can see it on the map kind of like let's take like take this green flower here you see how like this green flower it covers like everything here um but like if you if you were to like push this backwards a little bit okay like let's say you don't have room and you, and you start stacking them like back here and it only covers like half of it you can just put another flower on the other side like this right and then you get full coverage it's okay to overlap because what the charges mean is that the charges are how many seeds affected so let's say that the corner of this one just touches one seed and you activate this right it would just take out one charge because one seed likewise if you put the flower overlapping the entire thing and you have 24 seeds activated it will take 24 charges okay it's not one charge per activation that'd be ridiculously op once again you can't stack them that'd be even more op so really i would say this general rule of thumb don't be afraid to use these okay use them on anything that you really are targeting um if you're starting out maybe two threes and fours but later on when you're targeting specific crafts use them on tier ones no big deal you're gonna get so many of these that you're not gonna know what to do with they drop from tier twos threes and fours and and they in my opinion they are quite common i've been using them everywhere i stack them everywhere and uh, look at this so i have i have you can see okay you can see the, the green ones on the mini map are the uh, hordy ones the red ones on the mini map are the life force ones and the white ones on the mini map are the fortune buds they are about like uh, i think anywhere from between 8 and 30 c depending on which color and uh, if you look right here look how many i have like it's crazy right look how, look how many i've gotten just by like running my things all these are so cell found i haven't bought any of these and it's just it's just insane um so so please don't be like you know one of those like skyrim characters that has like fifty thousand elixirs by the end of the game you, you're scared to use one because you're saving it for the perfect craft just throw them down use them you'll see what happens and uh and please don't be scared to use them because they are really 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 op okay um okay so that's a lot of stuff right there um what else do i want to talk about oshabi regrows um the way that you get the oshabi fight is you have to kill a tier 4 beast and then she starts um there's like a hundred maps you have to do to do it and then after you kill her if you kill a rank 4 beast i think it's like faster it's about 130 maps um but yeah she'll just regrow automatically and then you get her fight she's super easy drops a bunch of these flowers which is really fun really easy fight i won't spoil it too too much though and um what else do uh what else do i need to uh, talk about okay oh um i guess i did I mention this at the beginning that like you can just open your sea catchy anywhere so a common situation is like in a map uh you hit the sea catchy you pick up 30 seeds you go in here and then you have like a bunch of seeds right uh you're like hit, hitting these like little harvesters and whatever um at the end of the map like, or at the end of the zone when you're ready to leave you can just like hit this and then just do this control click them back in there right like you can you can open this from anywhere you don't have to go over here to the seed stockpile i used to do that for the first week until i learned um so yeah just open it anywhere in here and, de and deposit your seeds so you can save uh stash space it's really really cool um what else is there to talk about um that's about it yeah that's that's about it it's it's pretty cool um the league is pretty awesome and oh you can like put portals uh anywhere in here from a map if you're inside of a map uh yeah okay that's it i, I hope uh maybe that helps some people and um yeah and if you have any questions i stream every day on twitch.tv slash underscore and i hope to see you guys there okay thank you guys thanks for watching my video bye bye guys bye